Anne Murray's an international pop and country star. Today she came home for a unique tribute. The town of Spring Hill opened the Anne Murray Center. It's a shrine to a small town girl who fulfilled all her dreams and more. Murray started her career in 1966 as a backup singer on the CBC's Sing Along Jubilee. Eventually she became a feature singer, but her big breakthrough came in 1970. Snowbird went gold across North America. Murray was the first female Canadian singer to get a gold record in the United States. And in the 20 years since, she sold $20 million of records and has more than a dozen gold and platinum albums. She's won all the top awards, 26 Junos in Canada and four Grammys in the United States. Today's grand opening was like a holiday. Everyone in town came out to see Murray and fans from across the U.S. and Canada made the pilgrimage to Spring Hill. It threatened to rain throughout the opening ceremonies. A power failure knocked out the sound system. I was finished performing and I said, well, why? And but things kept going all the same. And after a few more glitches, the center was open to the public. Spring Hill started off as a coal mining town, but the mines have been closed for 30 years, ever since a cave-in killed 75 men. Today the town's quiet, the population half what it was when Anne Murray was born here. The museum is seen as an economic shot in the arm. I think, it, I think it'll be a good turnout for Spring Hill and give it a boost, as you say. We always had hard luck here. But in other ways, too, I think the town's coming back. I, I think it'll definitely bring a lot of tourists into town. I'm sort of numb. Uh, I, it's a it's a very um, unusual experience. I mean, I just haven't experienced anything like this before. And the center cost one and a half million dollars. It's supposed to attract sixty to ninety thousand tourists to town every year. Paul Jones, CBC News, Spring Hill.